Well, hello everyone, the Interior Gardener here back with another extreme automation tutorial. Now, I had a previous episode where I automated all the side dishes that didn't require a pot, which would be your sweet corn, that you would order, onion rings, sweet corn, roasted potato, and your chips. Those are non-potted items. Now, the ones that require pots are things like mashed potatoes and things like broccoli. So I made this little rig up here. This doesn't use any extra feed bags or feed feed bins. Um, your broccoli obviously would be new. That goes with your with your broccoli as a side. Again, these are sides, not starters, so it's not the broccoli soup. Broccoli side will be up in this area, and I'm using teleporters again and trying to make this as compact as possible. Now, could you run this different way to have this go out here to go to a prep station? Of course, but the idea is to have, you know, the potatoes in a sense, you could buy another bin. This could be all hidden away in a different room and you could configure this a lot more compact than what this is, but this is what I threw together. That makes sense because we're basically having a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten by seven, so 70 blocks. Uh, minus a couple empty ones here, but again, you could fill these in with various other things, decorations or whatever, if you want to fill it out. Now, can you follow my mouse? Let's do the mashed potatoes at the bottom, which is the easiest one. Because we have the potato dishes down here, it's very easy to, to use a corner grabber to grab that, put it into the combiner. The combiner will combine the potato with the water and then cycle into a mixer when it is cooked. You want to let this cycle. You don't need a smart grabber here because the portioning action of the portioner will stop this from going and potted items don't burn anyway, so they will be potted right from the danger hop. Now, again, you could have this potting from here. It doesn't matter where in the cycle you'd pot it from, but it's easier just to do it here because this will be where it's, it's cooked, especially for the broccoli. The broccoli, again, the pots are being fed by one pot stack. You really only need one pot per per each one of these, but the way the mechanic works is this will pull one, and then this one will pull two. Uh, which is actually fine because broccoli you go through a lot quicker so it's better to have two ready to go the mash you get more than twice the amount for mashed potatoes so it's better just to have one pot now could this be configured so it both pots are pulled down to here yes but for my you know my experimenting here they pull both up to the broccoli but again if for some reason it pulls two down here it doesn't matter because this is super fast to uh, to cycle through and anyway again this is going up going through your sink combining with your broccoli and your water onto the hob and then it'll just cycle back through. Now, again, the way that the mashed potatoes work is they need to be chopped. The broccoli does not. So when, when this starts, these pots will cycle a couple times before they end up portioning properly because you cannot combine two things on with one appliance, if that makes sense. Because the combiner is combining the water into the pot, but it's also combining the potato into the pot. But it can't do that at the same time. It, it's only allowed one action per like occupied space at a time same thing up here is it'll put the water in first or it'll put the broccoli in first it'll cycle one time grab the next one same here it'll cycle one time grab the next item that's needed and then go and finish its cycle these in between the onion rings and the corn sweet corn or the roasted corn i guess which is basically sweet corn you have your roasted potatoes and you have your chips this is exactly the same setup as i had in my previous um all sides no pots um, tutorial this is just adding a little bit things back here but again this is full auto you don't have to touch any of this now could you get away with doing this manually if you set up a different way of course you can but then again that's not full automation and that's the whole point of this video is full automation 100 percent full automation so without further ado let's rock this and just watch it takes about maybe a minute or less now again remember if you have starters or you know as the customers come in you have your mains to cook um, it does get a little loud with all the things. But look at that. You got your these three things. These four things are done pretty much at the exact same time. We're going to start having broccoli coming through any minute up at the top. As you see, the broccoli is one that has the two pots, which is actually fine because they can pot out all five portions. And the other one will be one, two, three. I think it'll do four. Let's do one more. So that'll cycle all of them from, I believe, it'll cycle all of them through. And then your next pot is there. But it's not going to do anything, again, because it has to cycle completely through. Now your mashed potatoes are finished, and now they're portioning. It's the slowest thing because you have to chop or mix the mashed potatoes, and I have a I have a rapid mixer here. Could you use a you know a, a heated mixer for this? Yes, but it would be very very bad idea because a danger hop cooks at 2.0 speed, a a heated mixer cooks at 0.04 speed. So the the danger hop is five times faster, 
and you'd be waiting forever. Could you make this a little bit more compact? Yes, but is it worth it? Definitely, definitely, definitely not worth it. And there you go. The only thing that's still running up here is going to be the jiggly bin, which will keep running because it'll do all the husks, the two husks that are in the line here. It'll always see um, empty these, even though there's no corn being pushed through. That's the only thing that would kind of continue um, to run here if we take corn out. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, the jiggly bin will start doing its job. So that's basically it. Now, to build this, you need a lot of materials. Let's just get out of practice mode here, and you guys can take a little bit better look at it. Now, again, you're going to have a prep station for everything. You have a, a two sets of teleporters. You have, you know, a whack load of, of heated mixer or, excuse me, conveyor mixers. Now, like I said in the last video, you could make this not be, this could be a heated mixer. You could replace both of these with one heated mixer. Does it make it any better? Absolutely not. Because if you're having, say you're doing the new auto map, again, this is hard to fit in one of those auto maps. Um, but again, as workshop support comes out and larger modded maps are being will be added, this is a viable setup to have auto sides where you have to literally do nothing to start the day. It's not where you take a pot and put it on here, which again, you could get rid of a couple of these and do this manually, put one here, one there, but that's not full automation. And you know the Ontario way is um, full automation. <laughs> So I'm still a ghost. Like I said, I'll always be a ghost until if and when we get a Christmas or holiday, winter holiday update, and I'll be a Santa. If a Santa is added, of course. I want to thank you guys for joining me. This was a fun one to build. I mean, I basically build it twice because I have this one for the, the non-potted sides, and this one has all six sides, including the potted sides. 100% full automation. Every side that's currently in the game at the time of the making of this video and there you go. If you enjoyed this content, please consider leaving a like as well as a comment. What's your favorite part about this? Could you make improvements without saying, oh, you could make do this and this? Is, can you make a, a solid improvement that would make this go any better? I'd love to hear about it. Feel free to leave it in the comments below. And if you're enjoying my content as a whole, I have tons of plate up content every single day. Please consider leaving a subscribe. We much appreciate it. I'm getting so close to my next, my next goal, my next sub goal. And it'd be great to get uh, all the support from everybody here. Thank you so much for joining me once again. And I'll catch you in the next Played Up Automation Extreme Automation Tutorial. Take care now.